some British bookstores made plans to open at midnight for fans eager to snatch up Prince Harry's memoir. The book may be a pre-sale bestseller, but some Londoners aren't buying Harry's motives. It seems like he's airing out quite a lot of dirty laundry about the family. It's a bit sad, really. Good to see you. Promoting his book in a series of TV interviews, Harry casts himself as a longtime victim of lies in the British press. I'm left at a position where these mistruths need to be corrected. Accusing his brother of being complicit in leaks. William, his office, were part of these stories. Harry claims his stepmother, Camilla, sought to rehabilitate her own image by sharing stories at Harry's expense. That made her dangerous because of the connections that she was forging within the British press. Palace officials have avoided on-the-record comments, but citing unnamed sources, British newspapers say Prince William is burning inside and King Charles is awaiting Harry's call. If you actually look at the press responses to the interviews, to the book, these are planted stories. This is exactly what Harry is talking about. As social media users make light of Harry's family drama, cartoonists suspect the king's patience is being tested. Some historians, though, don't see this as a joke four months before Charles's coronation. It's an occasion for the, the king to renew the bond and the contract between the crown and the people and to put his own stamp on the monarchy. And that's all been completely overshadowed. The queen's death brought the family together but reconciliation now seems less likely than ever, with this book describing a bitter history and lingering anger. Thomas Dagg, CBC News, Toronto.